Okay, and then um, we'll go back up now to the, the story and photo portfolio and just kind of show you an example of uh, what that might look like. Again, you can uh, actually copy and paste an old story uh, straight out of Word and into uh, this, particular, uh, this particular field. And uh, if we scroll down, uh, you can notice that there are some photos embedded. Um, whenever you do copy and paste from Word to this one, the, the only thing that will not come over will be the photos. Um, so that will be something that'll, that has to be kind of uh, reinserted um, as you go. So. Um, I guess my, you know, if I were doing the record book myself, I would probably do the photo and uh, the story and photo portfolio, you know, in a word processing document or um, something like Word or uh, Publisher even, um, and then just print it out and include it in, in with my forms that I've done online. Um, to me, it would just be simpler. Um, it's simpler to manage the photos and stuff in a word processing document than it is uh, on this one. I'm not saying that it that it can't be learned or it can't be done. It's just um, as a personal preference, that's probably where I would lean lean as a parent. Um, but again, I'll have some videos on how to um, insert images, uh, but real quickly I can kind of show you that it, it can be done fairly easily. Um, basically you click on the, the um, icon uh, right next to the little PDF icon. Uh, this window will open up. Basically you just uh, click on the upload button. Uh, you pick, pick an image uh, that you want to upload. And then, um, and then once you do, um, let's just say that that was the the image that we were uploading. Um, then, um, then we can pick our alignment if we want it um, aligned left or right or uh, any of these other options here. So if we wanted it aligned left, we could do that. We could add a border to it. And the border, um, the size is in pixels. So, you know, like a five pixel, you can see on the screen, uh, kind of change there a little bit. We'll add a 10 pixel, so you can kind of see and kind of just uh, play with it a little bit. Um, you can also change the border color if you want to. Um, and then you can also resize the document um, if need be as well. And uh, whenever you whenever you resize it, you can see that the that has a little lock icon on here. So that if I were to resize this, um, that it does automatically change. If I change the width, it automatically changes the height, so that the correct proportions are maintained, um, and so you don't have some kind of skewed image uh, whenever you insert it. And so then I just click on insert and you can see that I had a white border. Um, so there actually is a border in between um, between this image and the text now. Um, so it does add a little bit of a buffer there if you, if you actually choose white. So uh, that may be a little tip or a um, little tidbit of information you want to pass along. Uh, but it, at any time if I want to delete it then I can just uh, click on it, hit the delete button and it's gone. Um, if I want to make some different edits then I just double click on the image. Uh, let's say that I wanted it on the right hand side instead. Uh, change that to right, click OK and it's bounced over to the right. And then you can even just drag it and move it up into um, different spots on the screen um, and get it exactly where you want it. So um, it's not too terribly difficult to manage. Uh, it just takes a little uh, tinkering around a little bit to, to kind of get things um, just like you do in Word. I know people get frustrated with it. This is easy. So, uh, But it is doable. And um, you can see um, how we've got it laid out on down the, uh, the screen here.